and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Let me know your comments down below with what is your favorite character from the Sonic universe. I'm going to be talking about the end credit scene at the end, but for now this is a non-spoiler review. Let's jump in. When the maniac Dr. Robotnik returns to Earth with a new ally, Knuckles, the Echidna, Sonic and his new friend Tails is all that stands in their way. Ben Swartz is back as Sonic the Voice, Idris Elba as Knuckles, Colin O'Shaunzi as Tails, Jim Carrey as Dr. Ivo Robotnik, and James Marsden as Tom. Okay, so you remember when the first Sonic movie came out and there was that whole, well, just before it came out, there was the whole internet kind of had a meltdown and said, that is not what a Sonic live action Sonic should look like. They went back to the drawing board, recreated what he looked like and came back and looked like exactly what we wanted. And it turned out that the film was actually half decent, not brilliant, had some issues, suffered in a bit in the middle of the story, but the fun was there. We could see the shaping of a decent film. And then we had Jim Carrey as Eggman and he was fantastic, possibly the best thing about the first movie. Now, what I can say happily is that they've taken everything that worked well in the first episode and just kind of thrown it in episode two and then given us a I guess a quest storyline uh, without going into spoilers there is this quest that they need to do something to stop Dr. Robotnik Jim Carrey once again from uh, gaining this power that will give him the awesome power and once again, they've allowed Jim Carrey to be Jim Carrey, where we had a little bit of Jim Carrey-ness, you know, that kind of overacting, Ace ventura sort of character, uh, the mask, all of that. They've given him a lot more ground to play with. And then we get the script that is very adult in nature in parts. There are some jokes that kids are just not going to get. And it's going to be for the adults. And you're going to find yourself cracking up laughing because there are jokes that be like, well, they put that in here, but the, I guess kids wouldn't understand that reference. And you'll be like, I understood that reference. You'll laugh out loud because you'll be like, damn, that was really good. It was quick and punchy. But it comes fast and frenetic. There are moments of like, oh, wait, that he just meant that while you're watching the story. The thing is, there is a 20 minute lull of a storyline that didn't need to be in this film and characters that are introduced uh, to kind of further along the plot that I think they could have written out quite easily. In fact, they introduce these characters and we never see them again, even though they take up 20 minutes of the runtime. So that was a little bit odd. Apart from that, the pace is great. The building of the characters and the team uh, all on the kind of featuring family once again, once again, kind of leaning into that Fast and Furious, it's family, as Dean Vin Diesel's character would always quote. Uh, but the, the way that Sonic looks or the way that Sonic moves and fights, there are moments that just feel like you're watching the game but in a live action and it's like making my heart sing as you hear the sound effects that they've incorporated in there and you're seeing the way he moves and then seeing Tails. Tails is my least favorite of the characters of the three just because he can't do much apart from spin his tail and be gadgetry uh, and I thought that was okay but Idris Elba was such a great addition to this kind of knuckles to headbutting you know at the beginning if you've seen the trailer you know that they're going to be clashing heads for one or another reason without going into that history again i don't want to do spoilers it's hard for me not to touch on certain plot lines but when they are together on screen there is this sort of banter that goes back and forth that's really entertaining to watch would love to watch a bunch more with them on screen together i can't wait to watch future uh, iterations of the story that they're going to take from other games that we know that they're kind of already going into. We're also going to get a Knuckles live action series with uh, Idris. And I was really worried about that at first, but now hearing the voice work of what Idris was able to do, I think was fantastic. The set designs as well, even though that you know that they're CG, the adventure that it did screams. The thing I wanted from the first film was a more off world stuff. And even though we are on world for most of this film, it does feel like we're off world. I would say though that there are moments that I was like, ah, oh, that bit was excellent. I wish we could stay there more. But when we get to those action set pieces, you're gonna love the ride. I think this is the perfect family movie. If you were thinking of going to watch Morbius this week, have a look at the reviews, listen to what your, your friends and family are saying about that film. 99% of people can say it's crappy and go and watch this. I think from adults to youngsters, you're really gonna enjoy this. I was surprised by how much I enjoyed this film. I'm gonna give it four Nicolas Cages out of five, where I gave the first film, I believe, three. It's definitely a step up. 
Now, there are different other films that are rated differently. And this is one of those games one that I went in with a, a lower expectation. So maybe that's part of the reason why I've given it so, a, a higher mark than other films that are compared to great films that are still fours. But the enjoyment I got out of it, I think it. I kind of need to raise it there. So from the score, that's excellent. From the voice work with Idris Ilber that added Jim Carrey doing his Jim Carrey thing, really allowing him to kind of take his over exuberant character and then getting that big explosion adventure set pieces that we get towards the end well worth uh, the money that you're going to pay at the cinema. So let me know your thoughts down below. I'm going to talk about the end credits scene now. That's your warning. So at the end of the film, once the credits start rolling, we get this little, you don't have to wait long, so don't worry. There's only one end credit scene. You, you get this, they show us this tube and it looks like another Sonic or Knuckles, but it's actually an amalgamation. And that is, I think they say the word shadow. It's like the shadow project, which is going to be that character that looks like them. And if you know anything about it, or if you played the game, shadow is the one character that's lost his memory. And I think Dr. Robotnik somehow gets him on his team like he did with Knuckles. And he's, the whole story is revolving around uh, bringing his memory back. And there's a lot more into it. So that is definitely from a game storyline. I think that's where they'll probably go with it. So let me know your thoughts about that below. Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.